Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix and this is Jade Empire. Uh, we just finished clearing out this quarry where a bunch of prisoners died when um things got flooded and I was about to say we're gonna head back out to the search the rest of the ruins, but there's a ghost here. Who are you? It's not the Help! I have some bad news for you, little girl. Who are you, another ghost? I'm a ghost, but I'm a little girl too. I'm trapped here. I can't leave, and I can't die. It's cold in here and wet, and I'm scared. I don't like it here. Uh, sorry to hear that. Please help me. I've been trapped here for so long. The outside is so close. I can see it, but this puddle is my way. Walk around it. I don't see any way around it. If I could just get outside, I'd finally be free. But I can't walk through the puddle. I can't. You're afraid of water because you drowned. Why are you so scared of the puddle? Don't you know how I died? I drowned there when we go. the flood came. It was cold and dark. And, and now I can't touch the water. I just can't. Please help me. Okay, I'll find a way to get you out of here. I think I know how you can help me. Look at the ceiling. It looks like there was a cave in long ago, and somebody put these poles here to hold the ceiling up. All you have to do is break these poles, and the ceiling will collapse. A whole bunch of rocks will fall into the water, and I can skip across them and leave this place. A cave in could kill me. Sure, fine. I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just know you can help me. Please hurry. Okay. Let's fight some poles. <clears throat> and hopefully not die. Woohoo! Dude. There's totally enough room for her to like walk around this outer edge. Silly ghosts. All right, can be anything else on my way out of here? Or am I just gonna be able to leave? What's what's that? Okay, that's not anything. <laughs> Back to the ruins. Um. Right, so now we've got a. Now that we've dealt with that, um. Gotta follow to where that Lotus Assassin ran off to. We can also go back to Tien's Landing and find Kindly Yushan. That's the guy who the, uh, the orphans wanted. wanted me to find. But maybe we'll save that for after we investigate. Maybe get that um, other piece of the amulet dam site. Oh, oh, oh dear. Uh, he's dead. Who are you, little girl? <laughs> I sense something strange about this girl. She is more than she appears. You don't say. The guardian is coming. He's very mad. He got mad at this man and hurt him. You better go away right now or he'll get mad at you too. Who... who are you? What happened to this Lotus Assassin? He made the guardian mad. The guardian hurt him. He'll hurt you too. You should run away. What are you doing here in this... in this little... like this... What, what are you doing here in this area place? Who is this guardian? Oh, it's too late. Uh -oh. I told you to run away, but you didn't listen. Now the guardian's here and he's going to hurt you. He's really mad. Time for a fight. And... Kaboom! Guess who we have to fight? This scary looking asshole. Chai Ka. Hello. Ah! 
out since it gives me more reach. Ah, shit. Damn it! Fuck you! No! Really? Delayed reaction there. Your master used tricks to deceive me before, but this time I am ready for your treachery. You will not have the gem. And know this before you die, I will hunt down every Lotus assassin in the Empire until I get back the amulet your master stole. I do not serve the Lotus Assassins. No, I will not listen to your lies. I will not be fooled again. Dire flame. I, I Immune! Fuck! Staff. Damn! It. Oh my god, why is he just spamming that move over and over again? Get ourselves cornered. Getting me. No, this cannot be. No one can defeat me. Even when your Lotus, Assa Lotus Assassin Master rested from the rested the amulet from me, he did so by foul trickery. His, fo His followers fought me by the dozen, a distraction while he stole the amulet and fled, but you challenged me alone, and you were winning. Who are you? I am Scholar Ling. Is it is it possible? Are you are you the one for whom I have waited? It is true, you have come. Because of my failure against the Lotus Assassins, I did not think to test you. I waited so long only to endanger my task over petty pride. Forgive me, Great One. This gem my guard is meant for you. Take it and know that I, Chai Ka, am your loyal servant, sworn to protect you. Why do you want to serve me? Want and desire have nothing to do with it. A greater power commands me. You are the one I was summoned for, so I must obey. I'm sworn to serve you, the rightful owner of this gem. I am bound to guard and protect you so that you might fulfill your destiny. I'm Chai Ka, the Heavenly Gate Guardian. In the language of your realm, I am called a demon. My mind is uneasy here, and there are many things I cannot remember. But I know my... But I know my fate is bound to yours. Your path will surely lead you to the amulet that was stolen from me. I will be glad to see it in your hands where it belongs. 
Uh, so there's no way I can get rid of you. You better make yourself useful. I'm honored to have you as my companion, Chaika. The honor is mine, Great One. My purpose is to help you fulfill your destiny, and I will do so to the best of my ability. Who is that little girl? The little girl you spoke to before is named Wildflower. She is my anchor to your world. It is through her that I can exist here. She is special. Without her, I cannot bridge the gap between your realm and my own. With her as my host, I can manifest myself here. Is she a sorceress? No, she has no command of magic. She is my anchor in this world. She's... She's an anchor binding me to the mortal realm. I cannot exist in your realm without her. I protect Wildflower from danger, and she allows me to fulfill my duties. We are separate, but in many ways we are also one. I would explain it better if I could, but as I said, it is difficult to understand. If you're coming with me, let's go! If you have no other questions for me, then we shall. There's nothing else I want to ask about right now. I cannot follow you in the normal sense. I exist here within Wildflower and can only manifest for short periods. She will accompany you, and through her, so will I. The Guardian wants me to give you this. That man over there had it. It's an inscrutable power source. The Guardian says you might need it. Ah. Inscrutable power source, what's that? The Guardian doesn't know what it's for, but he knows it's important. Otherwise, why would that man have had it? You better keep it for now. The Guardian says we don't have to stay here anymore. He says we have to go with you now. Is that right? Come on, you and Chaika are with me now. Good. I like you. The <laughs> Guardian likes you too. Uh, stick with me for now. I want to see what the two of you can do. Yeah, let's 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 switch it up. Don Star can go back to camp. This is going to be exciting. Right, inscrutable power source, inferior scholar gem. Okay. And this guy is just ding dong dead. What's over here? A chest! The river of time. Okay. Good thing there's a spirit font over here. Monkey! Uh, Speak the command word or suffer the wrath of Death Stand, loyal servant of the Emperor over us all. Hua Tong, Shao Hua, hail Death's hand, Emperor over us all. I don't know the command word, isn't it? Oh god, wasn't it Shao Hua? I hope so. Shao Hua, you may pass. Yeah, last video we overheard uh, two of the gu um, some of them talking about that. Well, what's this? Uh, scroll stand. The tragedy in Tien's Landing. Nearly two decades ago. Yeah, it's just talking about how the it all flooded. And... Of course! Of course. Inferior intuition gem. Obviously, we're not gonna go that way yet. We're gonna come down here and see what's up. Jade Heart. The mechanism to open and close the dam is controlled by a powerful enchantment focused on the Jade Heart at its center. From here, it's obvious that if you close the dam again, the runes will flood fairly quickly and you will no longer be able to reach the old Tian's landing site. Close the dam, remove the jade heart, and disable the dam so it can never close, do nothing. So we're gonna leave it be for the moment. You leave the controls alone. Because there is stuff here at the dam- like, in this area that, um, we still need to deal with. Not sure what's going on over here.
Yeah, I legitimately have no idea where I'm going at the moment. Okay, so I have to go back across this bridge. <laughs> and as I was saying, we've got to get, uh, go get kindly Yushan, drag him back to the orphanage so we can bury the bones of those children. Before we close the damn gates, because I mean... Don't want to leave that undone. And we're definitely going to close the dam because, I mean, that's that's the good thing to do. And we're being good. Oh! Oh! You! To survive. I suppose someone of your skill cannot be easily dissuaded. Who are you? Why did you attack me? You may call me Silk Fox. I apologize for my previous aggression, but I thought you were in league with an enemy of mine. I was clearly mistaken. Powerful forces are at work here. You are caught in great events that are beyond you. But I may have use for someone as impetuous as you. I think so, do you? Why should I trust you? Trust? I never said we should trust each other. I don't trust you at all. But our goals may be similar. I want nothing more than for you to continue your journey. You seek the old man who was taken from Two Rivers, correct? That's right. Of course you do. He was taken by Death's hand. I could tell you where his minions have gone. For a price. What do you want this information for? A simple trade. I tell you where the abductors are, and you tell me who that old man is. That old man was Master Lee, my teacher. You mix truth with lies. He must be more for Death's hand to keep him alive. Still, you've told me what I need to know. It would take a season to reach the Imperial City by land or water. Air is the only quick way, but you need a wind map. I know the location of one. Lord Yun governs much of the Great Southern Forest. He petitioned the Lotus Assassins for a wind map so he could settle a trade disruption. Of course, that has earned him their attention in addition to whatever trouble is infesting his lands. I doubt he has time for charity, but you might try to find him. Help me defeat Death's Hands. Now, now that we're friends, who are you really? Do not presume familiarity with me. Our friends. paths have crossed for a moment, but no more. I have matters of my own to attend. Remember, if you want to reach the Imperial City, you must go to the forest and get that map from Lord Yun. My path takes me elsewhere. If you actually reach the Imperial City, I will be impressed. Until then, I wish you luck. You are a surprising little peasant. Screw you, lady. All right, back to Tian's Landing. So, uh, I think it was the last video, um, or maybe the one before. We There was the one guy who was saying that he was trying to find somebody to go into the forest. So that's obviously going to be next on um the agenda after we... Close the dam and all that. Okay, so Kindly Yushan is supposed to be in the tea house. Did I read this book stand? Shadow in the trees. Apparently I didn't, so I just got experience. Into the tea house. Uh, old mother Quan. Hello, young one. My name is Quan, but everyone calls me old mother Quan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. You used to own this tea house. Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Dutong came to town with that imperial whip. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Dutong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. You didn't know he owned the land when you built the place? Did you check the writ to make sure it was real? Now why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. 
I can! I'm sure the land belongs to Master Dutong. You didn't know he owned the land when we built this place? I'm gonna to speak to Dutong about that this. Is very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but I can it think of a few things. to Master Dutong now. You can't argue with an Imperial writ. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's Yanru. Where the fuck is this master Dutong? Three sheets Dutong! If you want tea, have a seat. The serving girl will be by directly if I don't fire her first, a useless wench. I should have replaced her the day I took over this tea house. Can I see the writ granting you ownership of this place? Oh, certainly. The imperial writ is 400 years old and I just carry it around with me all the time and show it to complete strangers. Please. The writ is locked safely away, as I told Mother Quan. I'm not about to bring it out on your request. Now, if you will just leave me to my drinking. I think you conned old Mother Quan. What a truly horrible thing to say to me, especially when I'm sober. The very <laughs> notion that I, Three Sheets Dutong, could do such a thing is, well, it is unthinkable. You want me to teach this troublemaker a lesson, boss? Oh dear. Don't be an idiot. You saw what happened in the fight with those sailors. I don't need you lying unconscious on the floor. That's my job. After Steeper Yanru brings me my wine. Your accusations grow tiresome, stranger. You have no proof that I cheated old Mother Quan, and I don't see any reason to continue our conversation. So thank you, and goodbye. Guy's voice sounds really familiar. Anyway. Uh, so he. Hmm. Said Steeper Yanru was gonna bring him his wine. I don't know if that'll be able to say anything. Welcome. My name is Steeper Yanru, and I'll be. No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot. I'm Barkeep Yanru now, not Steeper Yanru. I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish old Mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. Uh, I want to talk about Dutong and his Imperial Writ. That Imperial Writ has caused us no amount of grief. Mother Quan lost her tea house, Waitress Yan Wan is busier than ever, and I spend all day giving out foolish advice. <laughs> did anyone ever see the actual Writ? Mother Quan saw it, though her eyes aren't too good. Uh, Most of us didn't bother to give it a look since hardly anyone in the town can read anyway. Oh. I think the Writ was a forgery. What? You mean it, it wasn't real? That means Mother Quan should still own the tea house. Problem is, Dutong's already shown everyone the writ, and now he's got it locked away. If you're right, he'd never bring it out again. There's no way to prove he cheated Mother Quan. Maybe I can make him confess? That might work. It would probably help if you get him drunk first. Ah. That's something I can help you with. Dutong's always having me send over wine. Usually I mix it with water so he doesn't get too drunk too fast, but I could start sending it to him unmixed. Just get him drunk and I'll get a confession out of him. Just don't get him so drunk he passes out. Don't worry about that. He never passes out no matter how much he drinks. Actually, he usually goes through three stages of drunkenness. Dutong gets very friendly when he starts to drink. You might get a confession out of him then, but I doubt it. He's not really all that drunk at that stage. Usually after about seven bowls, seven bowls. he slips Good into God. depression and sorrow. He complains about how his life is worthless and what a bad and sinful man he is. Not a pretty sight. By the ninth glass, he starts to get paranoid. You can't really talk to him then. Usually around that time, I try to slip a restorative potion into his glass to sober him up. You can make him sober the again? restorative tastes pretty foul, but it does the job. Works instantly and makes a man sober as an imperial judge. Sounds convenient. Dutong's guard keeps a vial handy at all times, just in case. The guard gave me a few vials so I could slip them into Dutong's wine when he starts to get paranoid. Keeps him from getting out of hand. Let's send Dutong some drinks. No problem. We have two sorts of wine here. Peasant's wine and Imperial Season Spirits. The peasant's wine is pretty weak, but that's usually what Dutong drinks. The Imperial Season Spirits are a lot stronger. One bowl of that is worth three bowls of peasant's wine. And if Dutong gets too drunk, I have the restorative to sober him up. So, from what he's saying, it sounds like we want him to be in the second stage of drunkenness. Because he said he gets friendly at the first stage, but um, he isn't really, uh... 
he doubts I'd be able to get a confession then, then obviously the third stage being paranoid probably wouldn't. So, it sounds like we want him to uh, have seven bowls of wine, or um, what should be two... Uh, two things of the Imperial Season Spirits and one bowl of peasant wine. So let's try that. One drink for Master Jutong coming up. One drink for Master Jutong so coming up. So two of those. And one thing of peasant wine. One drink for Master Jutong coming up. Anything else I can do for you? No, <laughs> he's stumbling around a little bit. I'll be back good, in a bit. Good. Go speak to Jutong. If he's not drunk enough or if he's too drunk, come back and see me and I'll mix him up another drink. We'll get him to admit he's a cheat and a sneak. Then old mother Quan will be back in charge, and I won't ever have to give out another bit of bad advice. Okay. Alright, he's kinda swaying a bit now. Let's see. What do you want? You come to mock yeah. me? Come to laugh at the tragedy that is the life of three sheets Dutong? Let's talk about that writ you showed Mother Quan. Oh, no, not the writ. Let's not talk about that. It's my secret shame. Just the thought of that writ brings tears to my eyes. It tears at my poor, miserable soul! Charm, tell me about the writ. You can trust me. Maybe you'll feel better if you tell me about it. Tell me the truth of that writ, worm! You'll feel better if you tell me about it. Yeah. Yes! That's what I need to do. Confess my sins. Then I'll feel better. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm a despicable person. A bad, bad, bad. The writ, it's a fake. A forgery! I made it all up! You're an asshole. Bus, what are you saying? Uh, I'd better sober you up. <laughs> God! Oh! God! Oh, I hate that restorative potion! Oh! That stuff tastes like vomit baked in a glaze of goat hair and garnished with a sprinkling of horse dung! Ew. And now I have the strangest memory. As if I... Oh, no. Did I, did I say anything to you, stranger? Anything about, uh -huh. oh, I don't know, uh, an imperial writ? You sure did. You told me it was fake. What? No, I never said any such thing. Yeah, you did. I heard what you said, Yutong. I knew you cheated Mother Quan out of this place. He's just still over there behind the bar. You can't get out of this now. Ah, I see what you're after. Oh, yes, Three Sheets Dutong was not born yesterday, or the day before that. Indeed, we are speaking the language of commerce. Oh, is I that what you think? A great deal of silver to keep this little secret from getting out. Lots of silver for both of you if you keep quiet about this. I I don't know, Dutong. I could really use the silver, but Mother Quan is such a nice old lady. I I'm just not sure what to do. You disgust me, Dutong. We won't sell Mother Quan out like this. Right, of course. Uh. What was I thinking? Old Mother Quan's a good woman. She deserves to have her tea house back. Yes, she does. Uh, uh boss. People aren't gonna like us when they find out what you did. Maybe we should get out of here. That's the smartest thing you've said since I hired you. Let's go. Well done. It'll be nice to have old mother back in charge again. You should tell Mother Quan she got her tea house back. Now things can go back to the way they were. Hell yeah, well, 20 experience points for that. Great. Hello again, dearie. I hope you're having a nice time here in my... I mean... In Master Dutong's tea house. Dutong's writ was a forgery. Uh, a forgery? Are you certain? Dutong confessed the tea house is yours again. That, that scoundrel. No wonder he left here so fast. Cheating an old woman out of her hard earned living. The very nerve. People, listen to me. Master Dutong has left. This brave young lady exposed him for the fraud that he was. The tea house is mine again! Hooray for Mother Quan! Her tea house is back in business! You've given me back the only thing I ever cared about. And you've done a service for this town, too. I'm going to turn this place back into a respectable quality tea house. Yay! It was nothing I was glad to help. I don't have much. The only reward I can offer is my humble thanks. That, and a promise that you will always be welcome here at Old Mother Quan's. Oh, there's my experience. Alright, now where is Kindly Yushan? There's Hui. Patron. Hi, patron. Patrons. He's probably upstairs. Oh. 
Rue, I know you keep saying you'll close the Great Dam as soon as you get your courage up, but it's been three days. Old Mother Quan is trying to make this place respectable again. <coughs> you can't Excuse stay me. here. Go close the dam. No, oh, I'm sorry, Yan Wan. Let me, let me buy you a drink. Two bowls of wine and we'll drink a toast to a better time. Just add it to my dab. Ah, I'm good for it. Wow. Well, I don't have time for this. I have other customers to take care of. You have to leave now. No, I'm really pretty sure I have to drink now. I, I need to get my courage up so I can go close the dam. Yeah, just another drink or two. Or three. Or maybe four. Oh, more wine? <laughs> Bring the man some wine. No, I'll handle this. You will? Thank the Emperor. I've lots of other work to do. Uh, and who are you? More importantly, do you have any wine handy? Or, uh, can you get some? Uh, why do I need his help? I'm Scarling, I need your help. My... my help? Nobody asked for my help. They don't even trust me enough to ride on my barge. But I'm not some useless old drunk. I'll show them. That's why I volunteered to go close the great dam. I just need a drink or two to get my courage up first. I'm confused about why I need this guy's help. Oh, I need you to take me- Oh! Okay, I need you to take me to a pirate camp. You can't be serious! I remember this now. Through my barge is the only way to get there, but the pirates are dangerous! Believe me, you don't want to go up there. Have some wine instead. Alright, I like kind of forgot about that. I was told you were brave enough to take me. You weren't brave enough for such a fast and low-flowing river. Mad is what I am. A real loon! Especially when I've had my fill of wine, like now. <laughs> Truth is, I'd be happy to take you up to the pirate's camp. If I didn't have more pressing business, I promise to close the dam and save the town. Truth is, I wish I'd never told anyone what I was going to do. I was a bit drunk when I said it. <laughs> But I can't back out now. What a shame. Everybody thinks I'm just a worthless drunk. But when I close the dam, they'll think I'm a hero. I just need a few drinks to get my courage up before I go. Not worthless, Rue. I need your help to stop the pirates. I'm just gonna say what if I promise to close the dam instead because that's what I want to go do before I think about getting about doing this side quest. You'll close the dam? Hmm. You do seem the capable sort. I don't suppose anyone would hold it against me if I let someone more capable take over. <sighs> I guess this means I don't have any real reason not to take you to the pirates now. I said I'd take you and I'm a man of my word. Mostly. I'll make my way down to the little dock where I have my barge and get everything ready. Just meet me at Beggar's Pier in the southeast corner of town when you're ready to go. Okay. Oh, me, you Baker's Pier. Good, good. I got lots to do before we go. Check the barge, check our supplies, sample the wine. <laughs> you never want to travel with bad wine. Oh, dear. Remember, meet me at. Yes, 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 I get it. Okay, oh, I got a level up. Um. Sailors. Patron, patron. Yauru. Yeah. What on earth? Leave Zhang alone. Zhang, you can't stay up here forever. This isn't your home. You need to come back with me to the farm. No. Zhang not want to go home. Zhang doesn't want to see Ark. What is going on here? It wasn't your fault. It was an accident. I need you back at the farm. Now let's go, Zhang. No. Leave Zhang alone. Or Zhang get angry and smash things. That wouldn't be good. No, please don't, Zhang. I'll just go over here and leave you alone. Huh? What? Oh, hello there. Don't let Zhang bother you. He's really quite harmless. He's just a little upset right now. What are you doing with an ogre? Zhang is no ordinary ogre. He is, despite his simple nature, very skilled. 
I am Dong Ping, Zhong's employer. Zhong works on my farm, but the other day he accidentally killed one of my oxen. And since then he has refused to come back. Oh dear. Some of the patrons here are unnerved by his size. I'm worried that if he doesn't leave with me soon, the owners may take matters into their own hands. If he gets hurt, or worse, I'll be ruined. I can't run the farm without him, but I don't know what else to do. He won't listen to me. I'll speak with him. You will? I must warn you. Zhong is, well, he's very strong-willed and very strong. I am grateful for your help, but please be careful. Zhong the ox carrier came by his name honestly. I would hate to see him hurt you or anybody else for that matter. Speak softly to him, and you should be okay. All right, we'll take care of that later. So I'm getting sidetracked by a zillion conversations I keep running into. Here is kindly Yushan, who I came Can't here for in the first place. Peace? No? You used to be the orphan master before the flood. Why do you care? That was a long time ago. Long, long ago. All I want is to forget those days. They're gone. Gone forever. Yeah, but the spirits of the dead children aren't. What happened the day of the flood? I was at the market buying food when the flood came. I ran back to the orphanage, but the water was too high. There was nothing I could do. The water kept rising. I had to flee. I came here with other survivors and settled this town. I tried to start a new life, but everywhere I go, I see little faces watching me. The better men might have saved them. Sometimes I wonder, I wonder if I should have died with them. Throwing your own life away wouldn't have saved them. No, it wouldn't have. But these days I live a sad, pathetic existence. Would things be any worse if I was a ghost in the ruins? Tell me about Bin and Meow. I have not heard those names in many years. Meow. Meow was the best of my wards. She was like an assistant to me, always caring for the babies, putting everyone to bed. Meow was strong. She did not give up easily. As for Bin, I recognize the name. A quiet boy, I think. I barely remember him, but they're gone now. All of them. If you want redemption, meet me at the orphanage. No, not the orphanage. The ruins are haunted. The children will be waiting for me. No! You carry them with you anyway. Now you can free yourself. You're right. I can carry this burden no longer. I must face the demons of my past and end this one way or another. I will go with you and accept whatever fate awaits me. Thank you. Glad it just teleports us back there instead of having to run all the way back. Live? All this time you were here, and I left you to this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Saying sorry isn't enough. You must pay. Now I get to hurt you forever and ever. Yikes. No, Meow. Yushan was not brought here so you could make him suffer. He must bury our bones. Then we can finally rest. Do as Bin says, you Sean, bury the bones. I am so sorry. Oh, pissed. <laughs> so pissed. <laughs> Be free, children! Be free. It's done. The bones of the children are buried at last. I just... I just wish I could do more. I... I feel better now. I feel warm. I haven't felt warm in so long. Thank you. Thank you, living one. We can finally rest because of you. We can finally be at peace. And I must thank you, too. I have lived with this guilt for many years. Now that this is done, 
Maybe I can finally move on with my life because of you. Goodbye, living one. Goodbye forever. Goodbye. Hey, another 1300 experience. And, uh, I guess I'll level up quickly. Oh, I'm getting nice and uh, glowy and everything. Oh, boy. I'll just put one in each this time. Seven style points to spend. Still haven't done much with Spirit Thief. I think Golden Star is my favorite fighting style. As it is, so... Speed increase would definitely be good for that. And, um... Got one point left. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right, now we gotta go um back to the uh. I think I can get there easily, more easily this way, maybe. Place where the jade orb is. Or no, that just look fuck. Got turned around, that just led back to Tien's landing. Um Alright. The ruins keep confusing me. Okay, I'm just gonna run back to um the the Jade Orb and get this uh get the dam closed. Here we are. Let's close this sucker. Close the dam. Close the dam, unleashing a blast of magical energy from the Jade Heart. Goodbye, old Tien's Landing. Oh, and hey, I leveled up again. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, nope. That's all, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, God. You know, obviously I'm gonna walk into a fight here. So I'm, I'm gonna just... Waltz back down here. I'll save leveling up for the next video and then subsequently going up and um, fighting those guys up there for the next video because I really should end this one here. But for now, thanks for watching. Until next time, rock on.